Hello everyone, Gifted So here back for another pick a card reading and this pick a card reading is going to be regarding what's coming next, predictions and advice and just general insight regarding the month of November. There's three piles, one, two, and three over here. Again, I tried to get the pile in there but it just didn't want to cooperate. But um yeah, so just choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to. If you do not have or feel like I didn't give you enough time to pick, just pause and pick your timestamp down below when you are ready. So again, one, two, and three. I have a few decks here. I will be listing the titles of the decks in the description box below. I will not have the links, but I will um, list the decks. Um... I am also using um, the Fortune Cookie Oracle that is created by my friend V from V Love and Crystals. So if you'd like to purchase that deck, I will be listing um, her link in there as well since I am using her deck as a part of this video. So again, let's go ahead and get started. I'll see you guys in pile number one. Welcome to those who have chosen pile number one. Again, this is a reading regarding the month of November. Yeah, Jesus. November. Um, we're looking at what to expect or what you need to focus on. Just whatever spirit wants to bring up regarding the month for you. Maybe some predictions, advice, who knows, whatever wants to show up. So we have a nine of winter and this is the nine of swords. Um... Your worries and fears aren't real. They're fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that which you're afraid of. Stop worrying, let go of fear, and everything will be okay. So, Nine of Winter, aka Nine of Swords, is all about <clears throat> really just kind of being too much in your head. So, November is the month for you to kind of see silver linings in certain situations where you may feel like there is no hope. Um, you have to look by faith and not by sight. Just because something looks bad, it's not necessarily bad. So, uh, Spirit is asking for you to get out of your head and to focus on your true power. Give yourself more credit. And again, stop dwelling on the negative. Because the more you dwell on the negative, the more that is what you're going to receive. So, yeah. So release and stress is the number one thing that I'm hearing. So we have a rebirth. So we have some blue here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to set that over here because I don't want the flashlight in the way. So number 16, rebirth. So rebirth is all about kind of like an awakening type of energy starting over. Um... But I feel like there's going to be some type of opportunity this month for you to start fresh in something that maybe you felt like you messed up. Or maybe, I feel like whatever it is, it's because you were too much in your head. So this month is the month for you to get a new opportunity to salvage something that you may have um, kind of... Um, what's the word? I'm looking for a word that's not, you know, negative, but, um, you have an opportunity to fix something. And with this blue here, this could be regarding some type of communication. So for some of you, there is going to be a rebirth of communication with somebody you may have not have heard from before. Or in a long time is what I mean. Um, or your long lost cousin, your long lost sister, um, an ex that you haven't had communication with in a long time. Um, could be this month, but also this could be your month to focus on how to work on your communication as well. Because I feel like a lot of the things you may say not only to others, but to yourself, kind of, um, makes 
it kind of comes off the wrong way. I do feel like there's a need to kind of change up your ver uh, your vocabulary when you are speaking, and also just some of you are needing a little bit of assistance when it comes to your throat chakra. Um, but yeah, for some of you, this is communication coming up. Um, for others of you, this is some type of other opportunity that was in the past that you not necessarily missed out on, but you ended up not putting your best foot forward because of fearful things that were controlling your performance, like fearful thoughts. That's what I meant. <clears throat> So let's see, we have all is well. So affirm that all is well. Basically what I've already said, Archangel uh, Jeremiel, everything is happening exactly as, it's as it is supposed to. With hitting blessings, you will soon understand. Okay, so like it says, all is well. You have to believe that and affirm that. And again, that is what you're going to receive. I do feel like November being a great month for you to not only fix things like I said, but to really come out on top in some things um, and changing your perspective. And like I said, it says hitting blessings. Hitting blessings you will soon understand. So blessings in disguise. Those things... Uh, that I was talking about uh, where you, again, you may have messed something up before. Something affected your performance, but now there's going to be a time for you to be able to redo that in some type of way without you being in your head so much. Um, yeah. So surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So pretty much this is about just handing things over to the universe, to the spirit, to the spirit, to spirit and allowing for them to kind of take your burdens and help lighten your load just a little bit. Communicate with your spirit guides more as well. Um, and I do get that along with the blue here and then the purple and the all as well message is just saying be more communicative and more um and listening more when it comes to messages from the other side um as they are beneficial to you and a part of your life purpose and getting whatever it is that you are wanting in your life and needing um so november Definitely, it's a time for you to reconnect with your guides. Um, I feel like you're going to have more clear insights from them this month that you most definitely need to pay attention to. Um, and when there is a problem that you're having or an answer that you need, surrender to spirit. Let them handle it for you and give you those answers when the time is right. Treasure chest. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So, um, yeah, so abundance is going to be coming your way this month. An opportunity, like I said, to really kind of rebalance something in your life that again just kind of disappeared or something that was lost but being refound again rebirth that's going to be in that treasure chest something to help you step into your power you're getting something that you want this month. For some of you, it's going to be something in your love life, something in your career, something in your finances. I can't say exactly what for the simple fact that this is general and collective. But um, for each person, it may be different. However, 
you're something is going to go your way this month or it's going to be something you find in this box that we've been waiting on or that you've even been looking for you're going to finally find it for most of you though i kind of feel like you've already looked you already seen it somewhere else but you kind of overlooked it okay so we have vanessa here to make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose, which way takes me away from it. So if what's in this treasure chest, Spirit is asking me to go back to this message here. So if what's in this treasure chest, um, I hope you guys can see this because I feel like it's a little, it's not too sharp. But um, if something in this treasure chest is making you feel, um, what's the word, off in any way, or if it's not something that makes you completely happy or something that is not for your highest good, in order to get abundance, you are to release that. So keep that in mind. Just because it is something that you are wanting, guys, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you or that you even need it. But I do feel like you're going to get the opportunity to get this thing just to see or maybe even to prove a point or prove that point to some of you. For some of you, this is a good thing in this treasure chest. But for others of you, you have to think about if this is something that harms me in any type of way um, that doesn't keep me woke, that keeps me away from my true life's purpose and what I'm destined to do and be in life or again just makes me not feel like myself this is something that is not for you and that again you do have to release uh so by the book um so with by the book by the book is basically just saying following the rules type of energy Spirit is saying that you have a lot of learning to do this month. There's going to be a lot of knowledge coming to you. But I feel like... The by the book message is simply just wanting you to... I feel like this is about organize, uh, organization, getting organized and putting your priorities where they need to be, putting them in order. Um, by the book is step by step type of energy. So, yeah. I see some baby steps being made um, to kind of help get you to... Uh, the place of for some of you even finding what it is you're meant to do as a part of your life's mission now for others of you this would be maybe a message that maybe you are already following the rules um but that the advice is that you need to kind of dance to the beat of your own drum. But for some of you, I feel like this is where you do need to kind of follow the book just a little bit. And kind of being realistic about something. And I feel like we're going back to what I've said here about this treasure chest too. So, yeah. And don't judge a book by its cover is coming up as well. So, That's the message I'm getting there. So we have Fortune Cookie Oracle again in the intro. I mentioned that this uh, oracle is created by my friend V from V Love and Crystals. I'll be linking down the info if you're interested in purchasing this. She also has other oracles and a new one. Um, where I don't think it's necessarily new, but she's putting it out for sale now. Um, the eye candy oracle. I think I'm going to go ahead and list that as well since she's just not putting it out. But 
anyway um your finances will improve so for some of you this is your messages for your finances so for some of you this is you coming into some money not necessarily even this month but you're working towards it this month at least if it doesn't come into fruition completely in november but november is for you guys at the pick pile one it's not going to resonate with everyone wholeheartedly so do keep that in mind but um your finances are going to improve um you're going to have a lot of new knowledge coming to you there's going to be rebirth of opportunities that again you may have not necessarily missed out on some of you may have missed out on it but others of you got the opportunity but you kind of downplayed it and you got in your head too much and didn't do as good as you could have or as well as you would have um some of you could be in your head about a financial situation like i said the negativity where you're kind of in your head a lot you may be thinking about money um but those worries are going to come to a standstill things are going to start to improve um and you're going to get there slowly but surely so november is looking like a good month for pile number one um just take it one day at a time. <sighs> yeah. And for others of you, if you're not focused wholeheartedly on your finances, it, ugh, Jesus, of your finances, um, this is the time for you to maybe focus on that this month and not kind of, you know, have too much focus on one area of your life. It's time for you to go to your finances if you're not already thinking about it working on improving that but i see a situation working itself out regarding your finances for some of you um just keep calm cool collective we're not saying necessarily follow the leader but we are saying to keep a leveled head is what i'm hearing with the by the book so that is all I have for my lovelies who have picked pile number one. I thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe and comment, especially if you enjoyed the video. It helps get my videos recommended more. Um, yeah, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching my videos. And yes if you have any pick a card reading suggestions for me to do on my channel in the future put them down below i will be happy to look into them for you depending on what it is but uh, for the most part i won't necessarily shoot anything down but i do try to do different things i don't want to stay stuck on one subject too long so um yeah but anyways just put your suggestions down and i see what i can do i love you guys i hope you guys are staying safe out there i'll see you guys in the next one welcome to those of you who have picked pile number two again this is a reading regarding what's coming up for november what to focus on predictions advice just whatever spirit wants to bring up it's not going to resonate with everyone wholeheartedly. It is for entertainment purposes only and not to substitute for financial, legal, medical, or any other type of advice given to you by a qualified professional. Free will is a way of life and we're all in control of our own destiny to the end. Personalized readings are available for purchase via my Etsy shop and website, which is always linked in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're starting with our tarot card here. If you're curious, this is the Animal Tarot by uh, Doreen Virtue and Bradley Valentine. Um, okay, so the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is all about deeper knowing, um, psychic insights, high intuition, your third eye opened, having a deep feeling about something or someone. Now, sometimes it can be uh, relative towards third party situations, but 
I'm not going to get that far right now since this is the first card that is displaying itself for this pile. Um, <clears throat> so this is a time to pause and reflect, not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. So a big part of getting through November 2020 is trusting your intuition. Um, for some of you... Um, you're kind of trying to maybe in a way outdo your intuition where it's just like if it may not be telling you exactly what you are wanting you kind of try to um, say that your intuition is wrong but most of the time your intuition is right. So a big key factor for you guys is really trusting your intuition. Um, and to get all of your facts before you make judgments and or make a decision and take action on something. Follow your dreams. Okay. Okay, so I get a couple of messages with this, but follow your dreams and then the high priestess. We are still talking about spirituality and psychic abilities and premonition and stuff like that. So what I am going to say is that following your intuition and also keeping note of your dreams that you're having as far as like when you're sleeping. Um, following your dreams is also about reaching goals as well, but you know, multiple messages are coming up. So, um, for, for the most part, I see it being spiritual message more so than about reaching your goals. But in order to reach some of your goals, you do have to follow your intuition to get there. That's part of the message for November. So, um, let's see, you are safe. Okay, Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. So I don't know if you've had a... I'm going to say you've always been spiritual. I don't know why this is turning into that type of reading, but... Um, yeah, your big focus has to be on... Your spirituality this month, for sure. Um, an acceptance of what your spirit guides are trying to tell you and the advice that they are trying to give you. They are trying to help you manifest, you know, certain goals that you may have for yourself as well. Um, so November, I do feel like that maybe there are going to be some challenges coming up, but at the same time, you're still going to be protected in the end. You just have to know that and believe that um, for the most part. But there are going to be some challenges, but you do have protectors around you, such as Archangel Michael, um, loved ones on the other side, and just a lot of spiritual companions, whether you know of them or not, maybe ancestors or just um, people that understand you. So surrender to the magic of who you are. So I kind of feel like you're denying yourself happiness for whatever reason. Um, Maybe it's because you feel like once you get something, it gets taken away from you type of energy. But, um, so it says surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with the uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. So I do see a lot of individual or individuality coming through for you guys in November or something that you are needing to work on is just kind of working on just being in solitude 
Um, I feel like maybe you are always around people and you kind of need to step off to the side and be by yourself for a little bit. Focus on your dreams and what it is that you really want out of life. Um, but yeah, November is a month where your psychic senses are going to be on a very high level for sure. Um, and during these times, you don't want to be around too many people. So, um, yeah, I do see a lot of discerning, um, picking who is right or wrong for your energy for sure. Your intuition is going to be smelling that out for you. So make sure you pay attention. Um, let's see. So break free. Yeah, breaking free. Breaking the chains. Doing things differently from other people. Um... Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn, is what this card says. Um, yeah, breaking free and just being yourself, like I said, individuality, um, breaking free from maybe even traditions. Just doing something that makes you want to get up out of bed in the morning type of thing. Um... But yeah, but like I said, I do feel like you're always around people. So breaking free makes perfect sense and it popped up at the right time. But we have Teresa I'm trying to get that light out the way. Okay, so this reads time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So this is also talking about breaking free as well as it says time out. Time out to be out by yourself. And it's not saying that you can't have fun or talk to people or be around people at all. But it is saying to limit your contact with people to have time for and with yourself. Um, and for a lot of you, you are kind of doing too much for other people. And taking the focus off of yourself to where you can't get anything done for yourself or <clears throat> nurture yourself. So this is a month to take care of yourself and not so much everybody else. And just taking a break and enjoying being alone. Having some me time. Um... But yeah, for some of you, though, this could be some distance coming up in November. You may already be going through it for some of you, but and it's just going to carry over. But for others of you, this is going to come up. It could be unexpectedly. For others of you, this is like you need this distance. You need to take this time apart and do things for yourself and everything that I've already said. But for others of you... This is a message that there's going to be some type of distance coming up. It could be a relationship, um, a friendship. Just something or someone that I feel like you're going to have less contact with. Or maybe not have it at all with them this month. If it's a person, they are most definitely kind of trying to focus on themselves a lot and breaking free as well. Um, but if it's anything else, it's temporary distance. It's not permanent, but it is some type of distance from something or someone for some of you coming up this month. If you're not already going through it. So blessed. And you are needing to think of that is a blessing in disguise. We talked about blessings in disguise in the pile one, if you're interested in taking a look at that. But um, 
I think it was towards the end of that pile. So we have a lot of twos here, two, two, two. So that may be a spiritual number that you guys maybe need to do some research on while I making give you a brief example of what that number may mean. The number is going to resonate differently for everyone. It's going to have a different purpose for showing up in your life, your friend's life, a stranger's life. So it's not going to be the same for each person, but um, just do some research on that number if you can. We have a lot of purple here. We're just going back to your intuition. Purple here. Um, a little bit here. And then with our high priestess card there. Um, but back to blessed or blessed. Yeah. I feel like you're going to... I feel like this is about appreciation, appreciating things that you already have, realizing that you have a lot to be thankful for type of energy. And yes, blessed does mean that maybe some things are going to come to you good this month as well. But for the most part, to me, this is about being appreciative um, and acknowledging what you have and who you have around you. And to keep those people around, especially if they encourage you to go after what you want and want to help keep you protected as in like wanting what's best for you type of energy okay so last card here this card comes from the fortune cookie oracle created by my friend v from v love and crystals i'll be linking the deck in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing um, along with her, one of her newest oracles that she is selling as well. I'm going to link that down below, the eye candy oracle. Um, so change is inevitable. Okay, so with this message here. We don't oft, sometimes we get so comfortable with something to the point where we don't um to the point where when there is change approaching or when we don't want to think about change we want to stay in the same position because it's what we know it's what we're comfortable with but um it's basically saying that change is a part of life. It's going to happen regardless of whether you want it to or not. Uh, but, yeah. A change is coming, guys. For sure. I'm going to say for some of you before Thanksgiving. Um, we are in November, so it will be in November. But for some of you, it's more so around uh before thanksgiving for some reason that wants to come up but but um <sighs> yeah It is a very crucial change to your life path, something that needed to happen. So just whatever this change is, welcome it with open arms. Try not to be afraid of it. You are going to be protected. It's a new world for you, but it's, you're going to be protected. But, um, but yeah, well, I'm hearing something about your sleeping patterns as well. So I don't know if some of you are having some issues with sleeping or, um, I don't know, maybe you guys need to change up your routine so that you can get more sleep and more rest throughout the week. But, uh, yeah. So it looks like for those of you who have picked pile number two, your month is going to be 
full of changes. I feel like it's just really one big change rather than several changes, but it could be more changes as well. We're evolving every day, so that's possible. Um, just a lot of time to care for yourself. Um, yeah. And Spirit is saying something about finishing a race. So I don't know if some of you may have trouble with finishing what you start. Um, but kind of try to work on that this morning. Follow through. Yeah. So that is all I'm getting for pile number two. Um, Spirit wants before I'm trying to close out, but they're bringing up like goddess energy. So, um, maybe it's time for you to do some research on that. But anyway, aside from that, that is all I have for pile number two. I thank you for stopping by and tuning into this video. Let me know if you learned something, if you liked it, if it resonated even a little bit. Like I said, guys, they're not supposed to resonate wholeheartedly necessarily with everyone. Um, and again, if you want more personalized readings dedicated to your energy and more specifics in alone, then most definitely do consider purchasing a reading from me on my Etsy shop or my website. There are reviews there. Um, if you're interested, and I do have reviews on my website in other places if you're interested in seeing them if you from the other places send me uh email or contact me on instagram and i will give you uh the links to those other reviews um but anyway i wish you guys love and light again i hope you guys are staying safe out there and i hope to see you guys in the next one take care Hello, welcome to those of you who have picked pile number three, which is the final pile of this pick a card reading, which is about what's coming up in November. Predictions, advice, just general insight the spirit wants to reveal to us or maybe what you need to focus on. Let's just, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so we have Princess of Winter. The seagull. Logical, truthful, curious, undiplomatic. This is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say is that it's being plain and simple and clear. This month, for some of you, you are going to hear something, get a piece of information about something or a situation or a job or something that is kind of not going to be pleasing to your ear. Um, it's probably going to really throw you off guard. So keep in mind that the information is for your own good. It is to help you and not necessarily harm you. Okay, so I had to go turn the light on because the battery is dying. And when the battery is dying, the flash turns off. So that made it dark. I don't know if y'all got to see that part, but I went to turn the light back on. I was recording with the dark in the dark, but the flash was on, so I can see. Um, but anyway, like I said, it's going to be helpful information for your own good. It's not going to harm you. It is going to be given to you maybe by somebody that kind of talks about it nonchalantly. Like they are just kind of comfortable with giving you this kind of information. Like they're used to it. Like it doesn't bother them type of thing. But I don't feel like they mean any harm at all. Um... But yeah, we're getting real, real, real in the first half of your reading, which is just, wow. 
Um, okay, so we have domestic harmony. So, domestic harmony. How do I put this? So, domestic harmony is really just about kind of working on healing your relationships in your home environment. Um, this could be with anybody. It could be with a lover. It could be with a family member, somebody in your past. Um, the advice here or what wants to present itself here is that, um, there's a need to kind of work on, like I say, your home environment. So maybe this could be about the information. This information could be about your home as well. The information you don't want to hear. Um, but. Or maybe you're working through information that you already heard prior to this video. Um, regarding your home life or some type of connection that you have with a person or some other situation that you may be affiliated with in some way. Um, but this is about you needing to adjust to your current circumstances. It's not saying to put up with anything and just allow anything to happen. No, but if it's a realistic situation where it can actually be fixed, try to work on it and give it a chance. Um, but yeah, working on things within your home front this month is important for pile number two. I mean, th yeah, Jesus, three. Okay. So maybe you guys need to work or go uh, watch pile number two since that wants to come up. Okay, um, healthy lifestyle, yeah, Jesus, okay, so this reads, Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, exercise regularly for optimal health, so it looks like, If you're not already living a healthy lifestyle, there is a need for you to kind of get on the train of maybe eating a little bit cleaner or doing some exercising, um, making sure that you're resting. I talked about sleeping patterns in pile, uh, I think it was pile two. Um, so maybe that's important for you guys. I already said pile two was maybe something that could resonate with you guys, so... Uh, check that out if you feel guided to. Um, and also the number 222 came up in that reading. So I think it's funny that I'm saying two or the number two. But anyway. I'm not just feeling like eating healthy or exercising and stuff. I'm getting like thinking healthy as well. Um... Doing things that help clear and clean and balance your energy. Um, if something or someone is causing you havoc in your life and even in your home front, do take consider kind of uh, lessen your involvement with that situation or that person. Because when you're dealing with stress and stuff and with people you love or whatever the case is, Sometimes that stress can physically affect your body. So make sure that you are not allowing stress to affect you in that way. Um, yeah. Surrender your desire to control people. So, remember when we were talking about domestic harmony before, kind of working on things in your home uh, front. 
but trying not to force it. Like I said, sometimes you have to limit your involvement with certain people or situations, but there that doesn't mean you can't work on it from a distance. So um, being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals. Back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So, um, yeah, for the most part, you are being guided to put your energy right now into something that isn't making you run wild, that isn't making you crazy type of energy. If you have to force something, it isn't meant to be right now. Take a new approach. Take a step back and reapproach it from a different perspective but you can work on this whatever this is but you have to do it in a different way okay so we have time to move on for some of you it's time to let go of whatever this is you're trying to fix you've already tried to fix this person or the situation and it's not helping anything so right now it may be time for when it comes to the home front though I don't, the message that I'm saying right now, I don't even feel like it's for you guys because what we're talking about here is your home front. So maybe in order to fix your home front, you may need to kind of relocate. So this what could, um, this is what time to move on can be about. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. So yeah, maybe you're needing to kind of Um, time to move on from your old eating habits, time to move on from trying to fix a certain situation or a person, or just moving on as in like relocating from one place to another, um, or time to move on from bringing up a situation or just trying to force something that isn't there like i said earlier allowing people time to figure out what they're doing wrong and not trying to force them to see things your way but <clears throat> you may need to walk away from something in order for it to get better for now i most definitely see for november you guys have a lot of choices to make because it's like Um, yeah, you have a lot of choices for sure. So we have Aurora. I think I said that right. Uh, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So I feel like you're going to have some eyes on you. I do feel recognition coming to you in November regarding something or from someone in particular or again, maybe in the workplace um, where somebody is really starting to kind of see your efforts and seeing that you do have a lot of value and bring a lot to the table. Um, yeah. And I feel like this person or whatever it is you're trying to, whatever situation or person you're trying to control, this situation or person is going to be inspired by the work that you're doing in your own life to help yourself. They're going to want to get on that path. That is going to be the way to help this person change by seeing what you're doing or situation, whatever it is. doesn't have to be a person, but... Um, But yeah. Okay. Number 19. Being flexible. Being flexible is all about. Um, being able. To. Be more. Available. Type of energy. And by available, I mean more willing to um, 
what's the word that I'm looking for? We're not talking about necessarily being flexible as in physically, but it could be being that we are talking about healthy lifestyle as well. So some of you may need to kind of get into yoga to kind of help you with making these decisions and just to help you um, get some balance. But um, maybe, maybe you guys need to do a lot of stretching as well. But the flexible that I'm more so thinking about within this energy is that being accommodative, like being able to pencil in this and pencil in that, working things into your schedule, making your schedule a little more easier to bend as in not staying focused so much on one area or one thing. Um, and I feel like you needing to see the person's other side or uh, seeing the other side of a situation. Um, not necessarily it's just staying on one perspective. So rest is required. So we did talk about sleeping. Um, I did talk about this in pile two as well. So do head over to watch that pile if you are interested. Um, there's a few similarities between this one and that one. I would say so myself. But um, rest is required. So I feel like some of you are early risers. Spirit is saying to take a day or a few days even and just sleep in. I feel like some of you may like to work continuously and you don't want to stop because you feel like you may miss out on something. But in order to be flexible in any of the ways that I spoke, whether it's physical, like with yoga or anything like that and stretching or just in general, as in like uh, sleeping and um, it can go to a message of moving on as well, because rest means you're taking a break from something. But um, yeah. I feel like Spirit is saying to um, to lighten up as well as like maybe not being too serious with things. Allowing yourself to have fun. For others of you with this moving on message, it doesn't necessarily mean walking away from something or somebody. It means forgiveness type of energy where you're no longer stuck on something someone said or did. You're moving on from it and starting over with them or whatever the case is. Um, yeah. Time to bring something else up. For most of you, this is meaning to not dwell on stuff in the past. It's not even necessarily saying you have to leave something or someone alone. But it's just saying... Don't think about last month, the month before, or um, what's going to happen tomorrow. Just simply focus on the present moments and going with the flow and yeah for some of you this is going to be about a desire to move on rather than just moving on from something but um uh, 
For some of you, this could also be about November being a time for you to take action on something that maybe you've been waiting around for. Um, Spirit said it's time to go ahead and make the next step. So that's another thing that this could mean as well. So it can mean many different things. Just take it as it resonates. Make it fit your story. So thank you guys for stopping by watching this video. That is all I have for power number three. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you learned anything from this video. And if it resonated, um, yeah, I wish you guys all the best. Happy November, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Love and light.